Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and today I wanted to share a quick freezer meal idea. Um, I love to cook, but there are just those days sometimes where you just need a little extra help. And so on those days, I tend to make burritos. Um, I'll make a batch of burritos for lunch or whatever meal it is, and then I will go ahead and make all of them using the filling. And whatever we don't eat, I just throw in the freezer. And then the next time I'm short on time, I'll have those already in the freezer pre-made and ready to go. Um, and I know frozen burritos are no new concept at all. I used to actually buy frozen burritos at the grocery store, but I found that I didn't really like them. Um, I mean, I like the taste of them, but they take so long to heat up in the, in the oven. And then also, they almost always burst open, and so then you have just the filling kind of coming out of the burrito, and it's not good to look at. Um, so I started making my own burritos. And so what I do is I keep um, a little bit of pre-cooked beef in my um, freezer most of the time, like ground beef. Um, I pre-cook it and then proportion it out into amounts that are about like three quarters of a pound um, because that's a good amount for our family size because I found that I don't really need a whole pound of ground beef for most recipes that I make because I add a lot of things to it. Um, so if I'm really short on time, I'll grab one of those pre-cooked bags of beef. If not, then I will grab a package of um, raw hamburger meat and go ahead and just cook it from scratch. And then once it's cooked, or if you're using the already cooked, once it's heated up, you um, just add the seasonings that you would add to taco meat. So I put salt, pepper, garlic powder, cumin, and chili powder. Um, and then I just, for basic burritos, I then add a can of beans and some shredded cheese and my filling is good to go. Um, however, if you wanna make this cheaper or if you're trying to make a larger amount or just use up leftovers, you can add in other things. You can add any like leftover corn or onions or even some chili. If you have chili left over, that'd be good. You can also put chicken instead of beef if that's more your taste. Um, but just really anything you can think of um, can go into these. You could probably even add like some um, like diced tomatoes or something like that. I haven't tried that, but it'd probably be good. Um, and that's a great way to just stretch the amount of food and on a you know pretty cheap price. So once everything is seasoned, heated up together, and mixed all up and ready to go, then I start making my burritos. I like to use the soft taco size whole wheat tortillas for this. They freeze really great and they just taste really good. So I put a little bit of the mixture in the middle of the tortilla and I turn in the two sides and then the bottom side and then kind of roll it over so that all of the mixture is enclosed inside. Then I put them three at a time in my George Foreman grill. That makes them nice and crispy and it also kind of seals them up so that your um, filling won't start coming out. So what I usually do is make a batch of burritos around a meal time and that way we can go ahead and eat as many as we want while they are hot and fresh. And then any that are left over, I just stick on a cookie sheet in the freezer and let them freeze solid. And then I pop them off the cookie sheet and put them in a freezer bag and save them until the next time we need a quick meal. And to reheat them, I just put them in the microwave for a little while and flip them part way through until they are, until you can kind of tell that the middle is like mostly thawed out and then I just put them in a preheated skillet on the stove and that makes sure that they still have that like nice crispy outside but still um, helps with finish heating up the inside of them. Uh, I've definitely made these freezer burritos several times and they are a little bit different every time just based on what I put in them and they are really, really good. Um, so make sure you come back next week and I will have another sewing tutorial and I will see you all again soon. Bye.